Hey guys, Andrew McFarland here from startajuicebar.com. Hope you guys are happy and healthy, excited to launch your business or grow your existing business. Today we are talking about the number one quality that I see that successful entrepreneurs have that struggling entrepreneurs don't have, generally speaking. Before I dive into that, if you guys are new to the channel, you don't know who I am or what we do, our company has had the pleasure of supporting hundreds of entrepreneurs all over the world launch and scale successful juice bars, smoothie bars, assayable concepts, and more, as well as running our own concepts as well. So all the information on this channel is coming from that wealth of experience. Early invitation, press the like button, because I promise you, if you press it, you will like the video more. And if you don't, you might not like it as much. Also, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, that way you get alerted when new videos like this come out. Now, without further ado, let's dive in. So. Before I tell you exactly what this quality is, I wanna share with you something that you probably experienced and observed in your life. Now, I know that you have many people around you, probably in your close circle or maybe in your peripheral circle that are very successful. And you might look at them and say, they don't work harder than I do, right? They're not nicer to people, they don't really possess a lot of qualities that I would say I probably have been more developed in, what is it about these individuals that's allowed them to be more successful, right? They're not smarter than I am, all of those things. And I wanna point out to you that quality, and that is decisiveness, right? There are so many of you, I'm sure, who have been watching this channel maybe for a long time, have had the feeling of starting a juice business for a very long time, but you haven't decided to do it. And that is the critical component, right? I can know a lot about working out. I can know a lot about health, but if I don't eat right and I don't go to the gym, it's meaningless. I have to take action. And so when I say decisiveness, I mean the decision to take action. There are so many of you that have this critical thing holding them back or holding you back, and a lot of it comes down to fear, right? The reason that you might not be making decisions in a way that are gonna really help you move forward is because at the deepest part of it, you have fear. And so another way that I can say is that one quality that entrepreneurs have that are very successful versus the ones that don't is courage. It's not fearlessness because what is the difference between courage and fearlessness? Fearlessness is the absence of fear. Courage is doing what you know you must do in the presence of fear. So do not expect that anything that is worth doing that you haven't done before, that you're not familiar with, that you're just naturally not gonna be comfortable doing is going to be without fear. But you have to allow your inspiration, your excitement, your vision to pull you and to be greater than any of your fears, all right? So this is one of the most profound things that I really, really, really need you guys to get because sometimes you'll hear it and as they say in one ear and out the other, you hear it and you say, okay, yeah, that makes sense, but you don't really grasp it. And realize that also not making a decision is a decision. It's a decision to stay where you are. It's a decision to keep doing what you're doing. As they say, if you keep doing what you're doing, you're gonna end up where you're at. So you think sometimes that postponing a decision is helping you make a better decision later on. and that to a degree is and can be accurate. I wanna say that it's not that you should make reckless decisions or uninformed decisions, but you have to find the balance and find a moment in time in your life when you say, you know what? I know enough to know what the next step is and I need to take that first next step and say yes to this vision. I don't and won't ever know everything. For me as a very successful entrepreneur for a very, very long time, it would be ignorant for me to think I know everything because I'm always learning, but I know how to take action on what I know at a given period of time when I have enough information. And so you don't wanna make reckless decisions. You wanna get support, reach out to us if you need, and you're ready, Andrew at SoderJuiceBar.com, because we can guide you, but you need to be of character. You need to be the right person. You need to develop yourself into a place where you have courage, you have clarity, you have focus, so you can make decisions to move forward with your vision. As they say, inspiration without action is merely entertainment. For me, this channel isn't really about entertaining people. I'm, I'm hope it's, I hope it's entertaining you enjoy the content, but deeper than that, it's about getting you guys to take action to move towards your vision so you can have the life that you dream of and that your community can be healthy and we can actually change this world for the better by allowing people to eat 
healthier because that is the mission. That is, I'm sure, your mission. You have to be moved by that because too many times people that don't want to serve people healthy food options, just want to make money, just want to, they're the ones taking action. And we see the result of that because humanity is consuming all kinds of things that are really harming them. Diabetes, heart disease, cancer, you know, the list of chronic illnesses that people suffer from is a byproduct of the fact that most people don't have information and they don't have access because we need people like you to say yes for your sake and for the world's sake to taking action on your vision. So I really want you to think about that anytime you reach a point where it's time to say yes. You know, I know people have been even nervous sometimes to book phone calls with me or move forward on certain things that they know they need to do, but they allow their fear to keep them where they're at. And I want you guys to reflect on your life and ask yourself what decisions you'll be happy that you did or did not make. So that's the message for today, right? If you ever find yourself looking at the people around you going, why are they so successful? Well, it's not because they have genius level IQs. It's not because they work harder than I'm sure you would be willing to work, right? I'm sure you work hard enough in your job as it is, and you can put that time and energy towards something that is a vision for your business. It's because they're decisive and they have courage. And so you need to embody that quality if you want to manifest and create and experience anything that's worth doing in this lifetime. That's all the message for today. If you are still here and you haven't clicked away, I'm sure you like the video. So if you haven't pressed the like button yet, press the like button. It supports the channel. It also inspires me to make more content like this for you guys. Go ahead and comment below just to share if you like the video. If you have any questions, anything else that we can help you with, you know where that goes. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Last announcement. Follow us on Instagram. If you're not following us on Instagram, we have exclusive giveaways and content that we only release on Instagram. We're posting multiple times a day there. So that'll just keep you in the loop. You know, I find that success is a mantra. It's not just learning the stuff once. You have to stay in the field of it. And even if it feels repetitive, it's going to build that muscle of a certain way of thinking and being in the world in order to allow you to be successful. So follow us on Instagram. And if you like podcasts, the Juice Bar Experts podcast is what it's called. iTunes, Spotify, we're everywhere. That's all for today. Sending you guys my love, wishing you a lot of success and seeing you at the next video. Take care. Hope you guys have been enjoying the video content. If you're inspired to learn even more about how to start your juice business from scratch, for you, we have a free ebook. It's called the 15 steps to starting your juice business. And this is going to go through a high level overview through a step-by-step -step process on how you get your business off the ground, everything from you know, branding, menu development, finding the right location and more. This is gonna be a clear roadmap so you know how to go from where you are all the way to opening your store. If you wanna go even deeper, we've also created an online course. It's called the Juice Bar Master Blueprint. This is gonna go into great depth on everything from how do you put together and think about recipe development? How do you cost out your menu and what's the math around it? What equipment do you need? How do you design your store? How do you find the right location and so much more? I know you're going to find a lot of value out of both of these. There's links in the description below. So I hope to see you guys at the next video and enjoy.